Good morning, mademoiselles and messieurs, mystery man. 64 at your service and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red version. So as much as I want uh, to use Jinx, and I will go back for it because I do kind of want to use it because I'm just like, when am I ever realistically going to use it ever again? Because honestly, this is probably the best game to use it. Or the best odds that I will ever use it. So I leveled up quite a bit since uh, last we left off. All of my Pokemon are about level 17 now. So I'm uh, quite a bit stronger now, which is fantastic. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. You gotta remember it. It's gonna be part of the new routine now. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it's whatever. He threw it in Atkins. I was like, what did you just throw out? It's one of three Pokemon with Intimidate. Which, good ability. Great ability, in fact. Probably one of the best. Really good. Uh, not using Atkins or its evolution. Did I talk about its evolution? No, okay, okay. This is not until later then. I still have my hand Danny notebook. I know as of this recording, I have yet to do editing nonsense, but uh, you will have seen editing nonsense. And I think this session will probably end at Misty, because then I have to do editing nonsense. But speaking of, there are technically some new new Pokemon to encounter on Route 24 and Route 25 because the encounters are pretty similar, I want to say. So let's see what the new encounters are. An exclusive to Fire Red version, Oddish, a grass poison type, is a replacement for if you didn't choose Venusaur. A pretty good option, and although the evolutionary line looks questionable, it you can technically obtain some of those later for reasons, I think. Don't quote me on that, the Belasimon might be wrong. Next is Bell Sprout, the Leaf Green encounter. Also, Grass Poison type. Once again, an option for in case you didn't choose Venusaur. It's pretty much the same type, pretty much a replacement. Can't go wrong here. Still a pretty decent type. Finally, we have Abra, a pure psychic type with insane special attack and speed. One of the best Pokemon you could probably get in the game. Because psychic has no counter and this thing hits fast, hits hard, and is really good. Oh, Abra is a scary, scary, scary Pokemon. It can be very strong. Starts out weak, but then it gets real strong real fast because with a trade evolution, you can get Alakazam really quick. Now back to the present. All right, let's see if that was enough time. If not, it's just going to be future me because I think I know if, if past me hasn't given future me enough time, it's just going to switch to. Now we're just going to stick with future me time now. We're not working on past me time, we're working on future me time. <laughs> oh, if that isn't confusing, then I don't know what is. We're working on time that is yet to exist. Ugh. Don't you love time puzzles? Ah, that, that sounds like something I should get. Is that what it's called? I should get Quantum Conundrum. It's a puzzle game. That's akin to that of Portal. Portal 2. I think it's called Quantum Conundrum. It's on Steam. It's a fun puzzle game. I feel like I need to get it. That's one I should think about getting. I, I, I like... I don't get too many puzzle games. But I do enjoy them. 
do enjoy them quite a decent bit. If I do say so. Let's see. I haven't played a lot of puzzle games. Uh, what kind of puzzle games have I played? Portal? Portal 2. Those are definitely the bigger ones. Um, I don't know if I'd classify Pokemon as puzzle. Sometimes it can be a puzzle game. But it's not really puzzly, you know. I've I've played only like a little bit of Doc Mario and Tetris. Never been too great at those. Or Poyo. Um haven't played Professor Layton. No Mr. Driller. Even though I know of these things, I'm just like, I know it's a puzzle game, but I've never played this. I've never played this. I think I've played a lot less puzzle games than I think I have. I'm beginning to think I don't actually know what puzzle games are. <laughs> yeah, I don't actually own a lot of puzzle games. Never mind. I don't haven't even played that many. I'm just like, I've played Portal, Portal 2. Portal. Granted, that one is a great puzzle game. Oh, it's so good. Really, really makes you think. Three dimensionally. Sometimes fourth dimensionally. Now you're playing with portals. Ah, so good. And with Portal 2. <laughs> Since uh, of the two people, I definitely knew a bit more of how a puzzle works. I essentially had to play with two people instead of one mind in one mind. I have to think, okay, I'm one person, but four different types of portals to play around with. So, you know, they say two minds are better than one, but when the one has to think around everything, it's just like, okay, now I'm starting to get used to the puzzle ideas and mechanics. Then I'm just like, okay, I got four portals to play around with. And I, you got to switch with using portals at specific times. It's fun. It's very fun. My start button is getting a little sticky. It's becoming a little sticky wicket. I'll have to clean my controller. Yeah, it's not been sticky lately, and thus I want to keep it nice and clean and pristine. And once again, this is your entertainment for this entire series. Me going off nothing tangents because I literally have nothing better to talk about. Oh boy, you can tell that when I am run out of Pokemon information. Oh, oh, I flounder. Oh, I'm a flounder and I drop on the deck and flop like fish. I tell you what. Uh, I'll tell you what. Yeah, I don't actually own a lot of puzzle games. I wouldn't call that a puzzle game. That's a Metroidvania. Action game. RPG games. Some puzzly stuff, but not really. I play games with puzzles in them. With many asterisks on the definition of what constitutes a puzzle. I have slowed my attack like twice, dude. Ah. Uh. Do I? I mean, I guess I could if I remember this. I got time. But I might as well cover if I haven't already. Or did I? Did I already go over what is physical and what is special? I probably did a future me. What is physical and what is special? But for, like, here's a cheat sheet of what is physical and special. So take all of the evolutions, all of those, Plus dragon is special, you know, except for normal Eevee, the Eevee Lucians, all of them plus dragon before fourth gen are special. The rest is physical. <laughs> that's like the easy cheat sheet, because that's what the Eevees are based upon. 
the what's was special back in the day. So if we were to get a new evolution, the only one left is dragon. There can't be any other evolutions because it just doesn't fit the theme of the Eevees. Which is what the specials or the special types were back in the day. <laughs> like those were classified as special. That's why the evolutions are what they are. That's why none of them are physical. That's why none, there was no rock, no flying, none of them. No, nope, they're all based on the specials. Now you know. That's a fun factoid. That's a fun little pokey fact. Hashtag pokey fact. No. Don't me. Stop while you're insurmountably behind. Uh, remember when Sturdy doesn't actually keep you with one HP from full health and instead blocks one hit KO moves that there are only like three of that very few things actually learn. So bite is special. It's better than tackle. Which reminds me, with the physical special being type based, oh, some Pokemon. <laughs> oh, they were not given certain blessings. Uh, Absol, which is uh, from Ruby Sapphire Emerald, is a dark type with high physical attack. Its uh, best physical moves are Slash and Stone Edge. Because uh, Psycho Cut and Night Slash are special that can't use its really high physical attack stat. I should have gone forward one space, then I could have gotten the Pokeball. Oh, uh, I did not think that one through. Yep. Because uh, in order to get rid of those trees, you need a special thing. Of which we don't get. Also, uh, I really want to use Jinx. Oh, we're not getting that for a long time. Which is why I'm just like, I almost really want to use Abra, but I kind of just want to use Jinx. It has the types that I'm missing, and it learns really useful stuff. So I want it. I think it's really good. That's what I need right now. Too bad I won't be able to get it till later. Yay. Isn't that special? Nah, I, I almost said it, but I was like, nah, I'm not feeling it. Only, only when I'm really feeling it's like it's gonna poison me. Do my psychic abilities kick in? Granted, it's a 10% chance, so, you know. 10% of the time, I'll be correct. But whenever I am correct, it's like a staggering. Also, see this weird spot? Yeah, weird barriers are in spots like that. Pay attention to those. Hey, there's another one. Yeah! Woo! Intimidate! Yeah! Get it! I really need a ground type. I could... Would I use that anywhere else in the game, though? That's another thing I'm not sure about, because some Pokemon get different forms with different types and a different stat spread. Which is dumb. So I'm using Radita for one purpose, but say later on with a game later in the series, Do I use am I allowed to use the other form of it because it's a different type and it might have a different spread? I'm still not a 
hundred percent sure on that. But it might. It might have a slightly different stat spread from normal Raticate. I don't know why I'm being subtle, though. I don't have to be. It's, a, it's Pokemon. A lot of people, you, you can just look this up. So it, it, it's a Alolan Rattata and Raticate. For the Alola game, Sun and Moon. They're dark types. So I'm just like... Am I allowed to use those? Do I allow myself to use those? Ultimately, it's up to me to decide, probably. Because I don't want to reuse things that I've either named or used on a team. Like, if I... If I get access to Squirtle again, which you can, I'm not gonna be able to use it on a team. You know, same with Spiro, and the same with Beedrill. Although, I could get something different, because I really, I'm really thinking about going back and getting Nidoran, but I feel like that's too broken, dude. Nidoran is so good, specifically male. Oh, it's so good, dude. It's so good. Um, I could do. I think I'll save this for the next episode. I think. Yeah, I'll save what's beyond in the next episode. All right. So, next time on Pokemon Fire Red. We'll be able to uh, visit Bill and maybe take on the gym. So, you know, might end there because I kind of want to end at Misty and do a lot of ending editing shenanigans. But as always, I'll see all of you in the next one. Until then. <laughs>